to this. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out today and greetings to all. Uh, to all of our friends in the room and to all of our friends across uh, your region that are uh, uh, of the Jewish faith. I uh, wish a very meaningful fast today on the holiest day in the Jewish calendar. It is Yom Kippur. Gemar Hatima Tova. Uh, I'm going to say a few words about myself today. I think most of you know me. My name is Kostas Menegakis. For the last four years and a few months, I have been and am still the uh, Member of Parliament for the Great uh, Riding of Richmond Hill. I am a businessman, an entrepreneur. Uh, um, I have worked in various uh, corporate uh, uh, corporations in senior management uh, positions. I founded my own uh, firm uh, some uh, 26 years ago, right here in uh, Richmond Hill, uh, uh, a place in uh, uh, which is uh, close and dear to my heart as it is uh, to all of you. In fact, I have lived uh, 30 years with. Uh, uh, my wife and my family uh, in York Region. I've never lived one minute south of, uh, of Highway 7. And our current home, of course, is in the uh, heart of beautiful Oak Ridge. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, as a member of parliament for uh, <coughs> Richmond Hill, I had an opportunity to uh, uh, participate uh, in many, many events throughout the riding over the last four years. I have averaged over 300 events per year in the riding, so I'm sure most of you have seen me out and about, as I have seen uh, all of you, or if not most of you, uh, out and about in the community. Uh, I am seeking re-election in Canada's Parliament in the newly created riding of Aurora Oak Ridges Richmond Hill, where I live. That riding uh, com is comprised of about 90,000 people from Richmond Hill and 25,000 from the town of Aurora. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the election that's taking place on October 19th. It is an important election. All elections are important, but this one is particularly important. Because we are living in a, in a, in a, in a world where there are troubled times uh, uh, on many fronts. Our conservative government has focused on doing what is right for Canadians. Has focused on, on doing what is good for Canadians' families from coast to coast to coast across the country. And certainly, our focus has been on the economy, as it is in our platform, going into this election throughout this election process. The Canadian economy is doing very well compared to what we see in nations around us and around you know, the world. I, in I'm fact, the first two years that we took office, 2006, 2007, we paid down $37 billion of national debt before the global economic recession hit. And we are, uh, we, we are in a position to say that in 2014-15, one year earlier than anticipated, we have balanced the Canadian budget with a surplus of $1.9 billion. And the first three months of this new fiscal year, we have a $5 billion surplus. We are on the right track and we need to stay on the right track as organizations like the International Monetary Fund and the OECD, the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, have said that Canada continues to lead the G7 in economic growth and will do so over the next few years. We do that how? We do that by keeping taxes low, personal taxes low, corporate taxes low. In fact, Tax rates, federal tax rates in Canada today are the lowest they've been in over 50 years. The last time they were this low, John Diefenbaker was Prime Minister of Canada. That is a fact. And we have done that by working collaboratively with our provinces and our municipalities to ensure that important services continue to be provided to Canadians. Transfers to provinces in the province of Ontario, Ontario for example, when Prime Minister Stephen Harper became <coughs> Prime Minister of this country were $10.8 billion. This year, they're in excess of $20 billion, an 88% increase to the province to continue to provide support in important services that we education, for example. I'm delighted that our school trustees here with us today, uh, health care, and so many other things. We have also worked very collaboratively with the municipalities. And as the member of parliament for Richmond Hill, I can tell you I've had nothing but an extremely very beneficial uh, and very uh, uh, productive working relationship 
with the leadership in the town right here in Richmond Hill from Mayor Dave Barrow and all of the councilors across the board. We have provided record investments in York Region for infrastructure, job creation, and community activities. Things such as the York Region Viva expansion. Things like the Richmond Hill Go Station, the Aurora Go Station. Uh, so many other projects that have been funded that you don't really see the federal money unless you read it. But for example, we recently opened up the new 500,000 square foot maintenance and operation facility for Viva uh, in Hedford, Hedford Park right here in Richmond Hill, a facility that houses 138 buses and services all of York region. It's absolutely wonderful. We have also doubled the gas tax fund. We have indexed it. This is money that comes to the municipalities. The town of Richmond Hill receives $5.4 million this year from the federal government. And the town, and the town of Aurora receives about $1.5 million this year. Six this minutes. is actual money that goes to the municipality. The municipality is used to uh, expand local infrastructure and, and renovate and improve <coughs> local infrastructure projects in, the, in the, uh, the towns. Things like park improvements, arena improvements. But we don't have to look far to see where these investments have gone. We are in this facility. The federal government put $2 million in this facility. Many of you may not know, but our government puts in uh, uh, significant dollars every year for the operating expenses of this very place where we meet every Tuesday morning. Uh, we put $733,000 to the renovation of the Elvistoic Arena, $2.4 million into the Oak Ridges Community Center, a beautiful facility and so many other projects around the town. We have provided significant programming for seniors, for youth, and for communities across this wonderful region. And as a member of parliament for, uh, for Richmond Hill, I have been blessed to have had the opportunity to do that and to be able to work with communities as we work together collaboratively to make sure that funding for these very important projects came from the federal government, over 30 seniors groups, for example, community centers, and so forth. It is important that we understand that we live in the fastest growing community in the country. York region is 1.2 million people. It is about 100,000 people more than the entire province of Saskatchewan. And that's why it is important that we all work collaboratively for the better for the, the good of all of us living in this, in this region. But I don't want to stop there. I realize my time is uh, somewhat limited this morning. We have made record investments in the environment. We know that economic development and environmental stewardship are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they go hand in hand. Our federal government has invested $12 billion for clean air technology, for green infrastructure, for so many things that make our environment better, and we'll continue to do so. I work very closely with the uh, Oak Ridges Moraine Land Trust Fund, for example, for local projects and local asks of the federal government that we've been able to get from the federal government that will continue to put focus on this very environmentally and ecologically sensitive jewel, if you will, in south southern Ontario. We have also taken a leadership role on the world stage with respect to security. We have done that in our communities by passing over 30 pieces of legislation that make our streets and our communities safe for all of us. We are now also working very closely with our allies to make sure that those that seek to uh, perpetrate terror on people uh, who are so far away in the Middle East and who threaten Canada, uh, we're working with our allies to, make, to ensure that that does not reach the Canadian borders. And indeed, the people that are being displaced from their homes by the thousands and thousands on a daily basis are, are and I'm speaking about ISIL, uh, realize that the rest of the world will not put up with terror on people. We live in a country and in a community that is very diverse, in a community where we respect each other, we love each other, we're irrespective of where somebody came from, what language they speak, or what culture they, 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 they uh, follow. There's one thing that binds us, ladies and gentlemen, and that's a country called Canada. We are Canadians. And I ask all of you to reflect on that on a daily basis, because we actually do live in the very best country in the world in which to live. So my ask of all of you is that you help me 
get elected in the riding of Aurora Ridge and Richmond Hill so that we can work together. We can bring back a strong, stable, national majority conservative government so that we can continue to keep Canada on the path of job creation, of prosperity, of security, for the better of all of our families. Okay. So I thank you so much.